No. We can interpret scriptures for things they don't mean all over the place. Amen. But see, these people, I'm afraid that they don't know God. If you know God and you know how he is and who he is, will just about interpret most of the scripture for you. Are you hearing? But you have to you have to get settled on some things about God. And it will interpret most of them. And how do we interpret the Bible? With the Bible, of course. With other scriptures. So you can't just take one, pull it out of text, and say this is this is the truth. Well, we find that all the time, you know. And some, some whole doctrines have been formed around a scripture pulled out of its context. Do you know that, don't you? And some people have embraced them and said, oh, this is the truth. When it ain't the truth at all. Well, now, we as God's people don't need that in our life. There's one thing that we need, a walk with God. True walk. A true relationship. One with God. A relationship with God. Not with a doctrine. Not with this, that, or something else. Not with just a church group or church people. That's part of our uh, fellowship. But, but the, the most important part of our fellowship is that with God. That's why Paul said, or not Paul, but John said, Come fellowship with us. Truly, our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what He said. He said, now, walk in the light. What light? Fellowship light. The light that comes by fellowshipping with God. That kind of light. Not, someone's, not somebody's light, even though sometimes that helps us greatly. It's what they're called to do. That's what they're, but God put them in the body to do, to help us. It's what I'm doing this morning. But our true calling is to fellowship with the Father and with His Son. And then He said, now fellowship one with another. <laughs> Amen. Now, if that's all our fellowship, if that's as far as it goes, our, our fellowship in the, in the body, in a group, if that's as far as that goes, you can be misled all the time. Left and right, left and right. Yes, amen. Amen. Now, everyone can fellowship with God. Everyone. Everyone, I said. Everyone can fellowship with Him. <laughs> I had some thoughts I'll probably uh, excuse them. <laughs> All right, I want to get to the scripture here. Matthew chapter 4. In verse 1. Then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And notice, and Brenda said this just before I, uh, I came up, how the Jesus was led. He was led of the Spirit. Amen. Now notice, Jesus, Jesus, the Son of God, was led. Anytime you read things like this, there's always an opposite to, to what you see. If you can be led, then guess what? You cannot be led. It's a distinction. If they were only one thing, period, nothing would need to be said. Would they? Would they? If there's only one thing, period, period, that's it. One. One. Nothing else needs to be said. 
No distinctions need to be made. None. And if there was only right, there'd be no wrong. Amen. There'd be no, there'd be no point in telling the truth if there was other thing, anything other than the truth in this world. Are you hearing? So it's making a distinction here. It always is. Jesus was led, led of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward hungry. He was hungry. I guess he was, wasn't he? When the tempter came to him, notice who he calls that. What he calls the devil, the tempter, the tempter, the tempter. He came to him and he said, if thou be. Well, hang on a second. Is he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is he? Is Jesus the Son of God? Did Jesus know that he was the Son of God? Hmm? Well, notice what the devil's doing. If 